to reverse that. Other countries have made a living taking advantage of the United States in so many ways, as you know, and I've been talking about that for a long time. As I traveled the country, I saw the shuttered factories and the shuttered dreams, and I pledged that I would take action. I think it's probably one of the primary reasons I'm sitting here today as president. And since the day I entered office, I have followed through on that pledge, big league, beginning with our withdrawal from the Trans-Pacific Partnership, which would have been a catastrophe for our businesses and for our workers. I'm very proud of that withdrawal. Some people say, oh, gee, I wish you didn't do that. But the smart people say, thank you, thank you, thank you. That would have been another NAFTA disaster. And NAFTA, believe me, was a disaster and continues to be a disaster for our country. On Tuesday, I signed an order to enforce the Buy American laws and stop foreign countries from stealing contracts from American companies and essentially from American workers. Today, I'm directing the Department of Commerce to immediately prioritize the investigation. It began yesterday and really long before that, because Wilbur and I have been working on this for a long time, into foreign steel arriving into our markets and to submit a report on the effects of these foreign steel products on the national security of the United States. It's not just the pricing, it's not just employment, no, it is. also has to do with the national security of our country, Thank you, which people are going to talk about. I talk about. Trying to do. Maintaining the production of American steel is extremely important to our national security and our defense industrial base. Steel is critical to both our economy and our military. This is not an area where we can afford to become dependent on foreign countries. We have product where we actually need foreign countries to be nice to us in order to fight for our people. And that's not going to happen any longer, believe me, especially as it comes to steel. This investigation will look at how steel imports are impacting the United States national security Taking into account foreign practices such as steel dumping, dumping is a tremendous problem in this country. Yep. They're dumping vast amounts of steel in, Since our country, 1984. Had, in our country, and they're really hurting not only our country, but our country. Well, this is where he's right on. They're targeting of American industry and other foreign strategies designed to undermine American industry as a whole. Based on the findings of this report, Secretary Wilbur Ross will make formal recommendations to the White House in a very, very near future. You'll be back very soon with those recommendations that we will implement. From now on, we're going to stand up for American jobs, workers, their security, and for American steel companies and companies generally. Today's action is the next vital step toward making America strong and prosperous once again. And I want to just add, I wasn't going to do this, but I was in Wisconsin the other day, and I want to end and add by saying that Canada, what they've done to our dairy farm workers, is a disgrace. It's a disgrace. I spent time with some of the farmers in Wisconsin, and as you know, rules, regulations, different things have changed, and our farmers in Wisconsin and uh, New York State are being put out of business, our dairy farmers. And that also includes what's happening along our northern border states with Canada, having to do with lumber and timber. The fact is NAFTA, whether it's Mexico or Canada, is a disaster for our country. It's a disaster. It's a trading disaster. And we'll be reporting back sometime over the next two weeks as to NAFTA and what we're going to do about it. But what happened to our dairy farmers in Wisconsin and New York State, we're not going to let it happen. We can't let Canada or anybody else take advantage and do what they did to our workers and to our farmers. And again, I want to, re I want to also just mention, included in there is lumber, timber, and energy. So we're going to have to get to the negotiating table with Canada very, very quickly. Again, just to tell you, this is another NAFTA disaster, and we're not going to let it continue onward. I think what I'd like to do is uh, ask a few of the people if they'd like to. These are some of the great steel companies 
of our country. Now, some of those companies were much bigger years ago. Uh, U.S. Steel would be an example, and others would be examples, but they were much but These were the greatest companies in the world years ago, and today they've been hurt, but they'll be great again, and they'll be great, I think, very soon. We're going to impose very, very strict regulations on unfair competition from the outside world. Perhaps I could ask the head of the United States Steel to say a few words. My honor, Mr. President, Mr. Secretary, I think the signing of this executive order clearly demonstrates your understanding of the fundamental importance that our industry has, not just to the national economy, but to our national defense. Thank you very much, Jeffrey. Anybody like to say something on behalf of your company or your workers? Well, I would just like to thank you, Mr. President, and Secretary Ross, for this action to protect not only our industries, our employees, but frankly, our country. So thank you for this bold move. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. President. On behalf of the workers in the industry, President of the Steelworkers Union, I have worked a long time with Wilbur, and we've been fighting this unfair trade for more than 30 years. Hopefully this executive order will give us the tools we need to grow our companies back and put people back to work. Good. And I've had lots of faith that uh, Secretary Wilbur Ross will help make that happen. I have to say, the unions have been working with us. I'm going to give uh, President Trump an A for this one because this goes back to my Berkeley thesis where I wrote about the theory of decline. And Japan then, in 1984, started dumping steel in the United States. What dumping is is when you sell steel at below its production cost. And you can do that when you're subsidized. But we can't regulate our way out of it. We need subsidies to protect and allow American industry to um, afford to pay our wages and yet be competitive on the world stage. And so it's, without subsidies, it's, it's hollow. It's a great start, though. I have to say, say what you will about Trump. It's a great start. So nice job, Mr. President. That's the one thing that um, I always wanted President Obama to do and he did not do, but this is great.